Hey everyone, as it runs the collectors here, we are opening up 2021 Tops Series 2 Baseball. We have two hanger boxes and one blaster. We found these pretty much on release day, which is Friday the 11th of June, uh, 2021 at Walmart with the Royal Blue uh, exclusive base cards in here. So let's see what we can pull out of this set, or I should say out of these packs out of the set. First off, I would like to say that some of the cooler box art they've had. Uh, I like the picture of Tatis. It's yeah, cool. that is actually quite I'm cool. I'm a big fan. Anyway, I'm a Tatis fan regardless, so I might actually have to pick up a hanger box or something of Series 2 just because of the art to keep. But. So there is the back, if you are curious about the odds. So 67 cards in these hanger boxes. So let's get into it. We got Cabrian Hayes in this set. Sam Huff. Weber. And Weathers. Oh, Weathers, sorry. And uh, what's the other guy? There's one other dude. Oh, uh, Alex Killeroff or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Alex Killeroff. And then there's a whole bunch of other guys who had definitely had potential. Um, Kim for the Padres. Obviously, Cronenworth is in here. Um, so, a lot of good uh, rookies, you know, probably by far Brian Hayes. And then Kirilov has a whole bunch of uh, potential. And then Jazz is in here. Jazz. We've got there's another rookie. The one thing that is a bummer about Series 2 is that the base card names are usually pretty bad. Uh, yes. Normally a lot, some of them are bigger names, like there's Dallas Keuchel, but normally they're a lot of sort of subpar, non-starter, relief pitchers, um, that kind of thing. So we've got a Marcus Stroman variation right there. That's cool. So let's look at the codes on the back so we can see the uh, number. Code is 4-1 and code is 2-3. So, so look at the bottom. Show yeah, bottom, the bottom right, right corner. That's right where my thumb is right there. Yeah, so a lot of people don't know where to look for that, but that's where you look. The bottom right corner um, will show you if it's a variation or not. You can also go to places like Beckett or uh, Cardboard Connection, and a lot of times they will have the... Um, listing of the short prints. These are cool. Yeah, the 1965 Garcia inserts. And, yep. and your Royal Blues. And a Jason Hayward. All right, back to the base. This is a pretty good hanger box. Variation and a gold. Not too shabby at all. All the team cards in there. Garrett. Yeah, team cards are almost always part of the set in Series 2. Championship fireworks. Kirk. Polanco, Indians, Mariners team cards also tend to always be horizontal, it seems like. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them in here. Holy cow. Like half of them will be there. Yeah, 330-card checklist seems like about 300 of them are team cards. Your Darvish, Corey Seager, and Gary Sanchez. Kind of a nice run of players there at the end to finish it off, so not bad. Those are $9.95 at Walmart. You can pull the chrome, these chrome cards, the 1965 chrome cards out of here. Those are really sweet. Saw our buddy Ethan Elvis covers and more open up some of this, and he pulled some nice chrome cards. Check out his break. He's been opening up cards on YouTube for a long time. Alrighty, getting into the blaster. I am getting very excited for the national, which is coming up. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun coming up at the end of July so it's like a little less than not even the end it's like sooner than that it's not that far away uh, I heard someone say today it's like the it's only 30 some days away in, no I think it's the end no it's the end of July it's August I, it's, it's the end really? of July oh. or beginning of August and I have the yeah. dates wrong maybe those people were wrong I don't know I said it was like 30 some days away unless the they, cha unless they change the dates so. but anyway Time to get into the Blaster 7 packs with one 70th anniversary. And you can actually get autographs of those 70th anniversary cards. There's your little checklist. So, I'll save that for the end. And we'll go ahead and get into it. 14 cards in each of these. Interestingly, cards in general, as a overall whole market, has been going down significantly. A lot of the bigger cards from their peak in February are down 70 percentage points, uh, if not more. The one sport that has not suffered nearly as heavily from this has been baseball. 
Which is interesting. Because it never really went quite as berserk as the other ones. Yes, but it still did in a sense. Um, but it's just not really been affected. Like, the guys who you think would be affected by it that have not been. Some have, like, Trout's cards are down and some other. Yeah. But not to the same extent that basketball and that kind of stuff right. percentage-wise right. is down. So I think that baseball as a whole in the hobby has a much broader spectrum of collectors. I agree. Um, it does not appeal as much to the investor. Type. No, exactly. And there's the one in the blues. Scott Carey and Suarez. And That's Christian a home Yelich. run challenge card. It will be very interesting to see at the National what people are focusing on buying and picking up. Are, are people buying stuff to get maybe promo packs that they might not even have, I'm hearing. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It, uh, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna very be a whole different, different story, national. So. Uh, you won't be able to buy. You won't be able to buy much to rip there because it's going to be just crazy prices. So, well, that's the other thing is that wax has been going down. Like this stuff at the national, no one's going to be charging more than twenty bucks for this. So, yeah, you wouldn't think. Well, no, they're not going to sell it if they are because right. it's just not going to be that expensive. And Manny Machado. Yeah, there might actually be have some deals to be had on wax. Well, there's stuff if, wax is tanked. I don't right. Know, a lot of people may not realize that, but what the heck is Holy going on here? Holy cow, that's a brick and a half. Is that our relic card? Oh, you know what? They did put it in one of these. I was so confused. Yeah, that's like they crazy. They actually put it in the pack. So that's I was weird. Like, what the? So in the past, they've never put it in the pack. No, it's they been a separate it, pack since yeah. like 2012. You got a chrome card in there too, sweet. No, I do not. I don't. I think it's a. Yeah. Oh no, it is a chrome. It's I thought chrome. it was a rainbow foil. No. All right, Schwarber, Kikuchi, Bogarts has been having a really good year and nice. Ryan yeah, Mountcastle. That's a nice one. Yep. Very cool. And he's a having a pretty Rock good group. year. Yeah, he's not having. He's right in there with the as a contender for the rookie of the year. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, he's been having a good year. Now, somebody in our other video uh, that we did, I think it was maybe the Bowman. I can't remember. Um, uh, Mega Box, or if not, it was another one. And they told us that Cronenworth is not eligible this year for the rookie of the year. He finished, I think, third last year. Yeah. In it. So, so we were talking about that and rambling on about. Rookie of the Year candidates and thought, oh, maybe Cronenworth, but... There really just aren't many of them this year. No, they're not. They are not that prevalent. Um, there, We've been blessed with past rookie classes with one or two stars in each rookie class this year. Right now, does not appear to have that. So, people are really hoping that with Kalenic coming up, or Kalenic, however you say his name, coming up, that he would give uh, sort of a spurt to the rookie class, but he hasn't done a whole lot so far, so... Here's another Royal Blue. Baseball is fun, and they are definitely a fun team, the Rays. Here you have one of the inserts, significant statistics, Cody Bellinger, and there he is, the GOAT, the all-time greatest player, Randy Arozarena. Of course, if you don't know, that is a joke on our channel, although he did have an incredible postseason, and we watched tons of his games. And <laughs> Every time, couldn't believe how he came up big in the playoffs last year. Probably one of the best pre playoff performances in a long time yeah. by a no-name guy that really made a name for himself. He's actually not doing too bad this year. No, either. you know what? I think he's bad like two in the he's last like I checked, two 70s. Yeah. Uh, with the, not a ton of home runs, but I think he has like ten homers. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, he's he's solid. It's gonna be at that pace. You know, gonna have thirty-five homers, forty home runs. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's very having, very solid. Definitely not a um, you know this one-time uh, gimmicky player that you never hear of again. I don't think. I think he'll be around for a while. Let's see. Here is a Bryce Harper, uh, nineteen. What, what did I say? These are. 56, 56 or, or 65. I can't remember. Sorry. My brain just shut down there. Um, and here's a one of the rookies right here. Andy Young. Don't know much about Andy. But I do know that the Diamondbacks are in last place, I believe. Last time I checked in their division. Yes, they are. Diamondbacks are always a weird team, um, in my opinion. I don't know why. But don't seem to get much attention ever. They're always kind of a fringe team. They're never really, like, elite, but they're always 
somewhat decent. Yeah, in some years they uh, seem to out, you know have been really good and come out of nowhere, even with not the highest paid roster. Here is a gold. Uh, this is Dean Kramer. Um, so gold number to 2021 in a Wilson Contreras behind that, the 1986 insert and a Casey Mize rookie insert. That's pretty cool. Detroit Tigers playing pretty well. Catcher card there. I like how they're including the catchers in their uniforms more in the last few years than yeah. they did, it seems like, for a while. Vladdy hit a home run tonight, which is pretty sweet. All right, so we got one last hanger box here, guys. Let's see if we can get anything out of this one. So Vladdy is at 19 home runs. The hanger boxes ran 12 bucks at um, Walmart, and the blasters were 20 so... You can do the math, 67 cards or 99, um, just depends on what you like. We've done really well, usually out of hangers versus the blasters. Um, and for whatever reason, it seems like it's harder to hit stuff out of blaster boxes, but um, I don't know. You. It usually does seem like that, yeah. I there's a mass card, yeah. All right, so we have a bunch more base here. A red chrome. Yeah, a red chrome. That's interesting. What's a red chrome? It's not even a sparkle there. Probably would be a sparkle. Because they have those, um, what are they called? Uh, oh, red foil board. Not, they don't have a red sparkle chrome, though. No, they don't. This could be very interesting. All right, see who it is. It's Bo Bichette Red. That's cool. That's cool. No idea what it's number two, but... It's number two? 70, I think. Right? 70, 70, yep. Cool. It's a nice pull. And then a Eloy Jimenez Chrome. Wow, this is, a, this is good. Um, foil of... Who is that? Al Alvarez. There he is. Jazz. Will Clark. Yeah, I like that red, though. That's a, that, These hanger boxes are definitely, the two hangers were definitely way better than the one blaster. Yeah, and there's sure. like Kibrian Hayes, so pretty darn good um, hanger. Oh, yeah, more mask. And so team and lands landscape. Landscape, landscape. So you get all these in the middle, uh, which is, is a, not appealing to me at all. All the oh, there's so many landscape cards. Another rookie. There are lots of them. There lots of, of them. Of cards. And here's the Kim team. right there for the Padres. One of the rookies people are looking for. At least some people are. He's had some uh, decent games, but overall not really producing much with the bat. If I were to buy any type of baseball singles right now, I'd be buying either as like an underdog guy, Eloy Jimenez, coming off the injured reserve later on in the season, or just Acuna Guerrero, Tatis, and Soto. My favorite card out of that is definitely the Boba yeah, Shed. Boba Shed is nice. We'll see if cool. uh, the, the Blue Jays make some trades. Uh, the, read something about them possibly making trades, and if they do, they could be what a team to watch. What are they trying to trade for, like pitching? I think pitching, yep. It's, there's uh, rumors of Max Scherzer maybe going up there. Really? But, yeah, that'd be cool. Well, actually, he's not going up there anymore. Well, that's going true. down to Florida. But... Yeah, well, or... Buffalo. Are they still in Buffalo? I thought they're in Florida right now. Oh, oh, maybe they started. They, no, maybe they, they are. Were, in they were in Buffalo. Yeah, maybe they are. Anyways, they flip flop from Florida to Buffalo. But. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that break. That was a lot of fun. I would say buy the hanger boxes. You know, if you like those relic cards and the blasters, take a look at those. But I'd say, in my opinion, hanger boxes are the way to go. A lot of fun. Although you get all those landscape cards. Not a fan of that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Tell us what you thought was your, the best card we pulled and what have you found near you. All right, take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We'll see you in the next video.